Hi, today I wanted to talk to you about a, an emergency binder uh, or a bug out binder. The uh, one thing that uh, you need to have uh, when you create your plan is uh, what you're gonna, you know, what you're gonna do, where you're gonna go, and what things you're gonna grab uh, if you have to get out of Dodge quickly. One of the best things that you can do with all your important documents is a, is a bug out binder. I've put one uh, together for a family, and this this is a this is a pretty uh, a versatile tool. I mean, you can use this as a bug out binder, but you can use it for a lot of different things. Not only uh, you know, not only for emergencies, but uh, you know, for for the lighter side of life as well. If you know, if you're looking for a job, uh, you know, you're going for interviews, you can use the information in this binder as well to help you to help you do that kind of stuff. But uh, what you want to do when you, when you put your bug out uh, binder, emergency binder together, you want to get a binder that has uh, a zipper that you can zip completely close. And uh, you can see that uh, this is completely shut. The reason you want to have a, a, an enclosed binder like this is you don't want anything falling out. And uh, uh, the zipper prevents that from happening. When you get the binder, make sure that you buy a binder that's uh, relatively inconspicuous. You don't you don't want anything that's going to stand out because obviously you don't want anybody to really know what's in this binder. It, it, it again uh, it carries all of your important documents. Um, you can really kind of use your imagination when you put this this binder together. You know I've got I've got another binder that I use for. Uh, emergency planning actually for in, in scuba diving we've got uh, a binder we put together if there's something happens in, a, in scuba there's an accident it tells you step by step what you need to do um, you know what phone numbers to call etc but you can do that kind of stuff with your planning uh, and you can place your planning inside of your emergency binder but as you can see here uh, my binders relatively thick I've got a lot of stuff in here <clears throat> One real important thing that I've got are uh, photos, current photos of uh, my family and my pets, and I've got those current photos waterproofed. And uh, you know, I want to I want to keep up keep a hold of those things. It's it's pretty versatile binder. I also have an outside pocket on this binder uh, that I can put other things inside of it as well and I, I store various things in here I store my uh, current taxes uh, I store all my account information in here uh, and a few other uh, bits of information but what's nice about this binder if there's any kind of emergency I know where it's at I can uh, grab it immediately and throw it in the car it doesn't take up much room I've got all the all the information that I could possibly want or need in this binder what you want to do with uh, with your stuff in the emergency binder is you want to make sure you make digital copies of it so that you can uh, put them on a thumb drive uh, and send that thumb drive to somebody that's obviously far away from you, uh, but you have quick access to it. Uh, it's always ha it's good to, uh, it's always good to have uh, you know two copies of this stuff. Yeah, I know if you don't have electronics, you're not going to be able to get that digital stuff, but you know uh, it's it's good to have a Good to have a second copy floating around. Whether it's a natural disaster or a death in the family, every household needs a plan in order to survive, cope, and recover. By creating an emergency binder, you and your loved ones will be better equipped to endure unexpected adversity and enjoy peace of mind. It's a great feeling to be prepared. The whole goal behind this binder is to allow family members to have the ability to pick up and continue without missing a beat. What you'll need at a minimum are a 3-inch binder that zips closed, document protectors, Ziploc waterproof binder bags, folders, dividers, and an index card. So I really don't want to show you what I've got in my binder because, again, it's kind of personal, but uh, you can, you can put, put together whatever you want in here. Uh, I've got a list of what's in my side pocket, and you can, you can, you can get an index sheet like I've got right here, uh, and break the binder down into sections. So in section one, I've got a, I've got a history, and I can flip to section one. I've got it outlined with a number here. Section two, section three, all the way through uh, to section, you know, uh, thirty-one. So I've got thirty-one spaces that I can, uh, that I can put in here. Um, but you can, you can, 
organize it any way that you want to organize it. It really doesn't have to be this way. The important thing is, is to get an emergency binder together for yourself. These are some of the personal documents that I've identified as being important. Of course, this is just a guideline. I would recommend that you put in originals with the exception of your driver's license or photo ID. With your driver's license or a photo ID, I would recommend that you have a copy in your emergency binder. For large size documents that uh, will flop around inside of uh, document protectors, as you can see, I've got everything in, in document protectors here. Uh, for instance, what I'm referring to uh, are things like passports. You can get a, a Ziploc uh, heavy lined uh, plastic uh, bag to put all of your passports in. I've got three passports in here now, uh, but this keeps the passports in place and it keeps them waterproofed. Preparing a comprehensive inventory can take some time and effort, but the effort will pay off enormously in helping you get back on your feet more rapidly in the aftermath of any disaster. Here are some tips that should help. Include when and where each major item was bought, its cost, include appraisals when available. Supplement the list with photographs and a videotape of each room and of key items. Update the list whenever you acquire or dispose of belongings. Keep the inventory list itself in your emergency binder. Also, make electronic copies of everything that you have and send them to a relative or a close friend. The one thing uh, I get asked a lot about this binder is, uh, you know, do you keep the originals in there or do you keep copies of stuff? Uh, personal opinion, you know, it's, it's obviously the things that you're going to carry with you, you're going to keep copies of in here. For instance, credit cards, I'm going to keep copies of. My driver's license, I'm going to keep a picture copy of my driver's license in here. In here. Obviously not an original, uh, but... I am putting the original passports in there because you don't carry your passports around with you all the time. Putting original Social Security cards in here. I don't personally carry my original Social Security card with me everywhere I go. Some of you do. And if you do carry original Social Security card with you, get a copy and put it in here and carry your Social Security card with you. But do what's comfortable for you. Uh, but to answer that question, uh, most of the stuff that I have in here is the original copy. Again, the items listed here are just recommendations to get you started. Feel free to add on to or subtract from these documents. It's all about what's important to you. The important thing is to get yourself organized and have all these items in one place so that if you have to get out of Dodge, you can grab it and go. Members of the military need to collect other types of documents as well. Here are a few examples. These are recommendations to help get you started on an emergency binder. I use my binder for a lot of things. As I mentioned in the beginning, this binder is versatile. When considering where to place this emergency binder, do what works for you. Some people need to have important items in a specific place, so they always know where it is without having to think about it. So in conclusion, what's so nice about this thing is that I know exactly where all of my important documents are. Uh, I don't have to struggle and try to find something if somebody needs something. And I don't have to, at the last minute, try to, try to find all this stuff to put it together if I've got to get out of Dodge. It's all in one place. And that is the beauty of this emergency binder. To give you an example, when my son went to get his uh, passport, I took this emergency binder into the, uh, the department and, and they asked for various bits of information and I pulled it all out of the uh, binder I had here. And I didn't have to hunt for it, I didn't have to go home. It was all there and uh, it, made, it made getting the passport so much easier and so much quicker. So put an emergency binder together today and start your peace of mind.